All right, so let's talk about the impact of generative AI on business intelligence, or BI. But first, let's understand what BI is. BI typically refers to the practices and the processes that organizations use to collect, prepare, analyze, and present data and insights to facilitate decision making. Now, the entire point of business intelligence is to take your raw data and to convert that into an actionable piece of insight. Now, organizations may use one or multiple BI tools to accomplish this task. Now, from a roles and personas perspective, all the way from data integration to making a decision, there are multiple roles and personas involved. But for the purpose of this discussion, let's keep it focused on three key or core personas. So let's talk about BI today and start with the data steward or the data engineer. What they typically do is they, they, they clean, collect, transform, and prepare the data for analytics. And once the data is clean and prepared, next comes your BI analyst. They would typically take that clean and prepared data, they would analyze it, and then build reports and dashboards with that information. They would also answer various ad hoc questions from the line of business. And the BI analysts would typically work closely with the line of business users to understand their wants and needs, and then build the reports and dashboards accordingly. And then you have your line of business user, and they typically consume these reports and dashboards prepared by the BI analyst. And while consuming those reports and dashboards, they may interact with it by slicing and dicing the data, drilling in, drilling through, adding filters, and so on. But for the most part, they are just consuming the information that's contained in these reports or dashboards. Now, what's important to note is over the last few years, a lot of BA vendors have been including lots of no-code self-serve capabilities that allows line of business users to build reports and dashboards and visualizations themselves. Having said that, despite all of this innovation though, we have an adoption problem. Despite 97% of companies investing over $32 billion by 2027 in data and AI, only 35% of line of business users use data and analytics for decision making. Now, this 35% adoption number hasn't moved in over seven years. And it hasn't moved mainly for three reasons. First is that data prep is complex. It's tedious, it's manual, requires specialized skills, and as a result, creates a major bottleneck. And the second reason is the self-serve today is quite limited, right? So I mentioned previously that line of business users could, through no-code capabilities, build their own reports and dashboards today. But to be successful at this, you still have to understand the underlying business logic metric definitions, KPI definitions, this is really hard, right? And the learning curve is steep for a line of business user to come in and use one of these no-code self-serve tools. And the other important fact here is a lot of line of business users aren't really interested in the analytics themselves. And what I mean by that is, although they're interested in the final recommendation or the final piece of insight, they're not necessarily interested in creating reports, dashboards, working with data, manually interpreting those reports and dashboards. They want none of that, right? They just want to abstract away the noise of the analytics and get to the final piece of insight or the recommendation. And the third factor here is a chasm that exists between data and insights. Even if you were to receive the best report or dashboard prepared by a BI analyst, as a line of business user, I still have to manually interpret that report to understand what happened then understand why something happened, what will happen, and what I can do about it. So lots of manual steps with lots of humans in the loop, lots of inefficiencies, and again, drives that adoption gap. However, we are at an inflection point. Thanks to generative AI, for the first time in decades, we have an opportunity to move this 35% adoption number upwards of 50%. And we're gonna do that by optimizing or augmenting the experiences for the three roles that we spoke of previously. So let's start with the line of business user and understand how Gen AI is going to augment their experience. First, Gen AI is going to allow line of business users 
to talk to their data. What I mean by this is that as a line of business user, I could come in, ask a question in my everyday language to the system, and then generative AI would take that question, understand the intent behind it, understand the right data sources I need to bring in, understand the right data query I need to perform, bring in the right statistical analysis, and then finally relay back an answer in a format that's easily digestible, so in natural language and visualizations. Now, as a result, the reliance on predefined reports and dashboards is going to diminish for line of business users. And there's going to be a shift in analytic power from the BI analysts to the line of business users. Now, as a result, again, 90% of data consumers will now become content creators. So that is the impact of Gen AI on line of business users. For BI analysts, Gen AI is going to help you optimize report authoring. So with generative AI, you'll be able to do things like automatically generate code, generate SQL, automatically build reports or dashboards, build visualizations, edit them all through natural language. And the other important piece here is that since line of business users are going to rely less on the BI analysts, they're going to have a lot of freedom time to focus on higher value tasks. An example of this could be a BI analyst now taking that extra time to document the nuances of the knowledge of the business into the semantic layer or the data layer, or focusing on more complex pieces of insight or analysis. And then finally, you have your data stored, where your data engineer, and there's a similar story here as well. You'll be able to optimize various data engineering tasks. So you'd be able to do things like automated code generation, optimize data pipelines, um, do perform automated data profiling, data cleaning, and semantic enrichment. And, so and this is essentially what BI plus Gen AI will bring to the table. Now, of course, when the line of business user is better self-serving themselves, asking questions from their data, getting insights from the system. That frees up a lot of time for the data stored and the BI analysts to focus on higher value tasks, like documenting the knowledge of the business into the semantic layer or the data layer. This creates a virtuous cycle, which will ultimately move that adoption number from 35% that it has stagnated for a long time at to upwards of 50%. Thank you very much. If you like this video and want to see more like it, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or want to share your thoughts about this topic, please leave a comment below.